today on One Photo Raw 2023 goes on sale and I have a pre-release version. My first impression is that the team at On One has stuffed this software with innovative new features so I'm keen to test it with my images. Let's start with the new Super Select AI feature. This is supposed to make selecting objects and creating masks far easier. You'll find Super Select over on the left of the interface with a magic wand icon. If I turn it on, watch what happens when I move my mouse pointer over the image. It highlights the sky. Then when I move it over the sea, it highlights that. And when I move it over the sand, that's also highlighted. Let's say that I want to adjust the sky in the image to add some contrast. When I mouse over the sky with Super Select, it's highlighted in red. Then if I click the sky, it turns blue to show that it's been selected. But even though I've selected the sky, I could still add other areas like the sea to the selection. I can then adjust my selection using either the drop down menu in the toolbar or I can right click on the image. You'll find a long list of adjustments you can apply in the menus. I'll select the contrast adjustment and then click the add button to apply it to the image. Next let's select the sky and apply a detail adjustment to that. Finally I want to select the sand in the foreground and I'll reduce its exposure. To finish applying adjustments, I then click the Done button which closes the Super Select AI tool. If you're wondering where the adjustments I've just made are applied, you'll find them in the Local Adjustments tab. You can see there are three separate local adjustments, each for one of the three areas I selected with the tool. Let's look at the Sky adjustment more closely. When I click the mask thumbnail to expand it and then use the View button, you can see the selection the tool's created. But we aren't restricted to only using the tool with local adjustments. Let's use the tool again to select the sky, but this time I'll use it to apply one of the filters in On One. Notice that the drop down menu contains all the On One Photo Raw effect filters. Also, because we can access these filters from the panel on the left, we can see their effect in the thumbnails. Then, if we mouse over one of these, we can see the preview of its effect on the image in the selected area. Let's add a normal glow filter to the sky in this image. If I click the effect panel, you can see the new filter and the mask created by the Super Select tool. Now I want to show you something that I think is a very nice touch. Let's say that we don't just want to apply our filter to the sky, but we also want to add it to the sea. Let's go to edit the mask on the filter by clicking its thumbnail. Notice that we then have this little drop down showing the word all. When I click this, you can see that it has several other options. These are the areas or objects in the image that Super Select AI identified. We have the sky, water and ground, as well as having a non option we can use to remove the selection. To select the sky and water, I only need to click the sky and water options and then the apply button. Now the glow effect is being applied to both, but not the sand on the beach. And here's the nice part, we don't need to use the Super Select AI tool at all. We can do this just by adding a new filter. Let's say we want to add dynamic contrast to the water in the image. I can choose the dynamic contrast filter and then expand the mask section. Then I can use the drop down to select the water. This creates a mask of the sea, but that's the reverse of what I want. All I need to do to fix this is click the invert button and now the filter only affects the water. I really like how On One has integrated this AI selection technology throughout the entire Photo Raw 2023. Let's try it now on a different image which shows part of a steam train. As before, I'll use the Super Select AI tool to select the train. Then I'll apply a contrast adjustment. After clicking Add and Done, I'll switch to the Local Adjustment tab where I can tweak the adjustments. Notice this time that if I edit the mask, the drop down shows a different list of objects to the first image. What we are seeing in the drop down isn't a fixed list, but it's the list of objects identified by the software. This time we have things like architecture, people, and transport, which is what's been identified. But what about the quality of the selection? To be honest, they aren't as accurate as I would like to see. If we look at the selection of the train, we can see it's missed a section and it's not really very precise around the edges. Now this may be because I'm using a pre-release version of the software, but it could equally be that it helps to blend the adjustments you make. 
Also, in my opinion, On One has a history of releasing useful features, but then needing to enhance them in future releases to improve the quality. I would say that for many of the adjustments, the masks are of sufficient quality, but sometimes they aren't, and you do need to be prepared to check and refine them. Now for another new feature that's impressed me a lot, which is the TacSharp AI sharpening. After testing it with several images, I do find it a little too strong for my taste, but it is easy to adjust the default settings before locking in the change. It then produces excellent sharpening results and really brings out the detail in images. Let's now switch to another image, which is of a church I shot in Bolivia, because I want to show you the adaptive AI presets. For this image, I want to apply an adaptive AI preset from the architecture category. I'll use this to add a new dramatic sky, which I want to blur as if it's been a long exposure. All I need to do is click the adaptive AI preset and the software does the rest. If we look at the effects tab, we can see that we have a black and white conversion applied to the entire image. Then we also have a dynamic contrast filter. This was named architecture by the software because it identified the church as a building and applied it just to that. Over in the sky tab, we see the new replacement sky with a mask selecting just the sky. This is what adaptive AI presets are all about. They automatically identify and adjust the objects in a scene. It's all driven from the technology in the mask dropdowns we looked at earlier, which means we can refine the selections if we want to. Overall, it's impressive technology, but the sky selection isn't sufficiently accurate for this image. You can see what I mean if I move the blur slider to its maximum value. Now it becomes easier to see parts of the clouds from the original image around the edge of the buildings and in other areas of the sky. Whilst the selections aren't perfect though, they are a great starting point which I can then quickly clean up. Now let's go back to the browser because there's a great new feature to help with adding keywords to images. On One Photo Raw 2023 now uses AI technology to help with keywording. All we need to do is select an image and then click the scan button in the metadata panel. Photo Raw then suggests possible keywords based on what it finds in the images. These are only suggestions at this stage, but you can easily add a keyword by clicking them. While some of the keywords seem to be based on American English, it does do a surprisingly good job. Look at this example where it identified the steam train in the image. Overall, I find On One Photo Raw 2023 extremely innovative. I think some of the features need a little more refinement yet, but they offer real value and are a great time saver. It's well worth downloading the trial software to test with your own photography. I'll include a link in the YouTube video description along with a discount code you can use if you decide you want to buy it. Also, if you don't know, On One uses AI for image resizing. In this video, I make a head-to-head -head comparison between Topaz Gigapixel AI and On One Resize AI. The results are quite surprising, and it's well worth watching next. I hope you enjoyed today's review video, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for another video.